What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over some news for the Adventure Quest. Let's get in the video in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, welcome back. So, today we're going to go over some news, but first, if anyone has any suggestions for my characters, a female a character's armor and helmet or cape or anything like that, if anyone has a set idea or items that I should uh, get for my female character, as long as they're not rare, of course, because I can't get rare items, but if you have any rare, non-rare items that you think I should get for this female character, definitely leave a comment down below. On what those items would be let's get into the first piece of news starting off today we have Krivon with his awesome armor I've already showed this off uh, this is probably gonna be coming out at TLAPD but there's more uh, he's also working on pistols it's a work in progress that's what the VIP means if you don't know also blades he's working on some nice blades these all look very pirate themed <laughs> So, and they also look very nice. So, I'm a fan of pirate gear. I don't know if you could tell. But let's move on to the next piece of news. For all of the Adventure Quest 3D fans out there, we have a new Halloween update basically confirmed. Uh, it's hashtag AQ3D teaser. Um, there's also a little Vine video here of yeah. them working on something. Yeah. It's looking good. That stage, he's working on a pot oh, or a cauldron whatever you yeah. call that it's looking so good. very cool looking stuff can't wait for that to be coming out in aq 3d i'll definitely be playing that and that witch armor is probably one of the better female armors in adventure quest 3d so hopefully uh you guys will play that with me when it comes out well i'll be streaming that uh yeah so that'll be out late october probably so uh, october update confirmed let's get into the next piece of news all right, in this episode, I'm actually going from like the least interesting to the most interesting. Um, uh, although the TLAPD stuff at the beginning wasn't, uh, you gotta hook them in. All right, but the Throne of Darkness Tower of Mirrors uh, is confirmed to be this Friday's quest line part two. Is this Tower of Mirrors part two? I thought last year was like a May or last week. Excuse me, my wording. Uh, last week was a maze of some sort, but I guess that was Tower of Mirrors part one, and then. We're actually going to go into the tower this time. So, okay. Uh, that's this Friday. i um, getting kind of tired of the Throne of Darkness. I liked it when it started off when they were doing the cool update. Uh, the cool, like, uh, well-made updates. But it, they're still well-made. and But they're not... Uh, they're kind of... They're, uh, they're getting kind of tiring. Hopefully we can move on to a new different quest line. And I would like shorter quest lines. Like, maybe three parts at most. Uh, so let's move on to the next bit of news. All right, I'm pretty sure everyone in the Adventure Quest community has already seen these Z's blades, his birthday blades coming out this Friday. I really do like the Null Gath one, and I also really like the Dage one. It'd be cool if you could earn these for merge items, so like Legion tokens for the Dage one, and of course like the Null Gath farming items for the Null Gath blade. It'd be cool if you could earn it and also buy it for ACs or gold or member gold, whatever. I don't know however they're going to do that. Um, hopefully these are available to all players. Also, that's what that's why I want them to be able to farmable because that's a faction blade, that's a faction blade, that's a faction blade, and that's a faction blade. So we got good, ev evil, Nogath, and Dage. So these are all faction blades, so there's a good possibility they might be earnable. Plus, I asked Elena what they would cost. Uh, she responded with she wasn't sure yet and that there are going to be extra bonuses on the blades. So like maybe... Uh, like a an example of a bonus is the burning blade in Adventure Quest Worlds has like 50% more damage against all creatures or 25% damage or whatever it has as extra damage. So maybe like the Nolgath one, maybe that'll do more uh, damage against Nolgath item uh, creatures and uh, the Dage one, maybe it does more damage against undead. Who knows how that's going to work, but that is some information on those blades. And speaking about that, this set is also going to be coming out at the same time as these blades this Friday in the August Rare Shop along with these birthday blades this Friday. So it's called the Dark Sorcerer set. Our Sorceress set. I don't know if there'll be a male version of it. Hopefully there is. And yeah, that is pretty cool looking stuff. Last but not least in today's episode is 
this armor. Uh, Xtroid tweeted this at me. This came out on this tweet was tweeted out on July 21st, I think, or the 20th, something like that. Uh, so that's last month, and so it was about a month ago actually. And this looks really cool. I really like the design of it. I've never seen this armor in game, uh, but I think he's gonna recolor it, and this might be a class design for maybe of uh, maybe. This is speculation, pure speculation on my part. There's no confirmation. Maybe a Nolgath class, maybe a formable Nolgath class. I don't know, but I thought I'd show this in this video because this was tweeted at me. Uh, thanks, Xdroid, for tweeting that at me. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop it a like. And hopefully you enjoyed the better quality. I'm going to try to upload. If it doesn't work, I'm sorry. But I'm going to try to upload this at 1080p. 60 frames per second if it's request runs at 24 but my mouse will be moving around faster on screen hopefully you enjoy the mouse moving around faster on screen because that's the only thing that will change with 60 fps but i don't know i just I, I maybe my webcam will be 60 fps and that'll look nice or something i don't know it's double the uh, amount of data i have to upload and render and edit but i think it'll be worth it in the end tell me what you think about that and remember to leave a suggestion for a new set for my character if you have any ideas, definitely leave those down below. I don't have a lot of experience with sets for female characters. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Maybe I'll do some research and do a video on it. That could be something I could do in the future. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great day. You're awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.